Yeah, the front nine, I was just hitting it really well. I think I missed like an eight-footer on one, eight-footer on two, and then finally made my first birdie on three, which I hit to four feet. But the greens are definitely really tricky. They're hard to read, and they're kind of like, in a sense, a little too fast for the grass, um, where you feel like you're putting on glass. So if it hits, there's you see every spike mark, and if it hits one of the spike marks, it just ricochets somewhere else. But for under, for under I'm happy with it. Unfortunately, I couldn't kind of capitalize on 10 and 18, which I did go for in two. But it's golf. It's the first day. I'm happy with the score that I shot today. I'm just wondering, in this course, is the back nine a little bit tougher, do you think, or are they roughly the same? Um, I would say maybe it's a little longer. Um, yeah, I mean, I think both of the nines, they're very different. Like, not one hole is the same. And I think the defense of this golf course is the greens because they're not just fast. They're not firm, but they're not just fast. But um, they're very slopey. So if you do hit it at a lighter pace, the break just takes it instantly. So you have to account for that. Nevertheless, being four under after the first round of any tournament is good. you got to feel mm -hmm. good to be in the position you're in right now. What do you have to do to you know, keep your focus for tomorrow, I guess? Um, just to continue sticking to my game plan. I mean, I shot bogey-free around today, so I'm very happy with that. I minimized my mistakes, and hopefully I can continue doing that the next three days and give myself some more chances. Yeah, we've been asking players about what they think about the 17th hole, <laughs> the, kind of the hockey rink on the yeah. area. What, what's it been like for you? It was, so it was good. Um, when you, It's a cool atmosphere. I mean, when you hit, everyone's banging on the board, so it's cool. It's a little different, but I wore a jersey today. And so Was it a Chicago Blackhawks jersey? Yeah, it was a Chicago Blackhawks jersey, yeah. <laughs> no, I got it from the tournament, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you and Brooke obviously live on the same side of Florida. Uh -huh. um, how would you describe your relationship? Are you guys friendly? Are you guys friends? How would you say that you and Brooke get along? I, I feel like everyone's very friendly with Brooke. I mean, it's very hard not to be friendly with Brooke. She's... She's a very, very kind, um, but yeah, every single time we play together, we always chit chat and she's super sweet and I enjoy um, my time with her. Uh, you're obviously one of the most recognizable golfers on the planet this week, you know, having mm -hmm. all Brooke kind of there. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Do you feel like there's any pressure off or he's kind of like, this is a unique little week here? I think it's super cool. Uh, she took over my pro-am yesterday, or I feel like I started her pro-am. Um, and I t joked, I was like, it should be the BHCP Women's Canadian Open because it's crazy. I mean, honestly, I've always said that the Canadians are super passionate fans for their players. And it's honestly really cool to see. I know that her hometown's like 45 minutes away, Smith Falls. Um, and it's really special to see. I think um, deep down she um, really, really appreciates all the support she gets here. And it's from an outside point of view, I think it's awesome. And how's your health been? You know, you, you got back on the tour. You were the one that had the uh, blood clot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah everything, it's everything everything's back yeah, everything's good. And yeah. when you were off at, at that time, did that give you time to reflect about your golfing or, or life in general? Just yeah, I think it made me appreciate playing golf and being able to travel and being active and living a healthy lifestyle for sure um, when it's taken away from you that I think that's really when you kind of get to reflect on it. Well, nice to have you. Thank you. <laughs> last question, I think jet lag's been the story of your life this year. Yeah. Off the, the big win in Spain. Uh -huh. uh, do you have any idea what time it is and just what was, what was that week like? Are you coming, coming off a win? Yeah, I um, I honestly thought it was bad going to Europe. Coming back from Europe, I never struggle, and it's actually quite nice because you wake up early. So this morning, I wasn't like a zombie, um, and you go to sleep earlier. So I, I actually prefer coming back from Europe than going to Europe. I find it a lot easier. Overall, how was that experience last week? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's cool to end uh, the tournament on a Saturday, so you get to kind. Of, I had my friends there too, so. We got to have some fun too, and then hopped on a plane on Sunday and back to work. That was your, yeah. That's your first win this year. Yes, correct. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks you. Thanks, guys.